Hey everyone. Welcome to 2 minutes Tuesday with Balan. This week we are going to look into Azure Cognitive Search. How do we enable semantic search in it? Let's get started. What is semantic search? Semantic search is something uh, more improvement or refinement to the full text search which gives you much more query capabilities, scoring capabilities and uh, the main important thing is the contextual relevance. Consider the example below here. We have a word capital, but the capital has different meanings. For example, it might be related to the money investments, or it can be crime or punishment, or it can be uh, related to a capital to a state or a country, and it also can be like a capital letters. So it depends on what context you are asking. Uh, in general, like a full text search, it is just going to match the word capital and then it's going to return the results. It doesn't understand what exactly you are looking for. So that's where semantic search comes into play. So when you're doing a search, when you're saying like, what is the capital of uh, Pennsylvania in that case, it's going to understand that you are asking for the particular capital. In this case, it's going to be the state's capital. And then it's going to return results which are relevant in that context, which is going to be like Harrisburg. How it works. So in this case, it takes the text query, results are extracted, and then those results are uh, processed and then you get the top 50 results. And then the next thing is, uh, what is the input that we gave that will be prepared, unnecessary terms, and then shorten it, which is converted as a summary. And then the summaries are sent, and then they eventually get scored. According to that, the results are written. How do I enable it? Uh, the semantic search is on the left blade, and then you can just click on that. Um, and then you can enable with like a free plan or a paid plan. How does the search real semantic result looks like? You can clearly see that uh, here we have the search read anchor scores and a search dot caption, and you can see the text and highlights and the actual result itself. Availability and pricing. Uh, semantic search is uh, available in two tiers. One is the basic tier up to thousand uh, queries per month is free. And then the higher volumes, you have a standard uh, pricing plan. Charges for the semantic searches, like whenever the query type is equal to semantic, and then if it has a keyword, then they charge you, uh, although if it is a query type is semantic, and if it is like a wildcard search, like an empty search, then it's considered as a regular text search because actually the semantic engine is not doing anything. Uh, limitation, ensure that this is in public preview, so it's not just be aware of that. And only the first top 50 results are assets from the full text search is used. So it is not going to rerun it on the entire. And certain features we need to avoid to bypass the relevant scoring. Uh, that's the basics of semantic search. Thank you for taking your time today. We'll see you with another topic next week. Thanks again.